Number 10 Ryerson hosting the Trent Excalibur. Can anyone guess the last time the Rams lost to the Excalibur? How about September 20th, 2006, nearly a decade ago, outscoring them 53-14 over that 22 game span. A stat that's almost as impressive as that new home kit. Those are beautiful. Right off the bat, Ryerson has a scoring chance. Adam Matty rings one off the crossbar from 20 yards out, but 15 minutes later, he would get another chance. Matthew Isabella picks off the pass and sends him in all alone, and he'll calmly and coolly slide it into the right corner for his first of the season. Ahead of the 35th now, Zach Schufelt. Fans on the clearance attempt, putting the ball on the boot of Nick Lambis, and he's not gonna miss from there. That's his OUA leading fourth of the season. Then in the final minute of the first half, Hamadi sends in the corner and Robert Boscovich's header is saved by David Ellis, but the birthday boy, Kyle Stewart, is there to head it home. A sweet little present for the all-star fullback from Kingston, Jamaica. Rams up three at the half. Much of the same for Ryerson in the second. After working the give and go with Jackson Toop, Matthew Isabella flies down the wing. His cross attempt is headed away, but he picks the ball back up, beats his defender, and his second effort takes a deflection and beats Ellis, rams up four. The next play kind of sums up Trent's luck on the day. Jamie Baker's cross is blocked by Eric Wells right in the unmentionables. Now he would be able to walk it off, but man, that had to hurt. Trent's play of the game comes courtesy of David Ellis, who makes not one, not two, but three unbelievable saves in a row to keep the deficit at four, where it would remain as Ryerson cruises to a 4-0 victory. Worth noting, despite giving up four goals, Ellis makes 10 saves on the day. So much for a relaxing Sunday. The win marks their fourth consecutive clean sheet, the longest shutout streak to start a season in program history. Next up, Ryerson hits the road for six straight, beginning on Sunday when they take on the Carlton Ravens.